A Plattsburgh man is in the Clinton County Jail tonight after he was stopped with a shotgun on his way to his former job. Police say they got a call from a family member leading them to CVPH to arrest him before he could arrive on the hospital's campus. NBC 5's Tyler Baranski joins us live outside Clinton County Jail right now with the latest details on this case. Tyler? Yeah, Alice Brian, well, this is where 52-year-old Robert Thibodeau remains tonight. Police believe he intended to use the gun at the hospital. It was a wake-up call that Bryn Lawless of Plattsburgh couldn't ignore. I could hear five or six. I was like, something is wrong. It was local and state police making their way to CVPH, arresting 52-year-old Robert Thibodeau near Broad Street off Prospect Avenue, charging him with criminal possession of a loaded firearm in the second degree. Plattsburgh police say they received word from one of Thibodeau's relatives, letting them know he recently got terminated from the hospital and that they felt he was going to return to harm individuals there. That is one of my worst fears is some Somebody coming into a workplace and going postal. CVPH sharing in a statement. In many ways, we have been sheltered from the harsh realities of today's troubled world. Today, that reality was made clear in a truly frightening way. Vicki Davis Corson has been a nurse at CVPH for nearly 20 years. Davis Corson had finished her overnight shift a few hours before the incident unfolded. She's thankful Thibodeau didn't make it onto the hospital's campus, telling us she's been concerned about CVPH's security measures for a while. A lot of us don't feel safe. We have nothing right now to prevent somebody from walking through the door at any point in time. Davis Corson says she's thankful to the suspect's family relative that spoke up and put law enforcement on alert and allowed them to react quickly. She says this is a reminder that no matter how small your community is, an incident like this could happen anywhere. This could have turned out a lot worse. Now, police got a search warrant of his home, seizing more guns there. Thibodeau remains in jail on a $500,000 bond. He's set to be back in court on Thursday. Reporting live in Plattsburgh, Tyler Bronski, NBC5 News. Tyler, thank you. New York Congresswoman Elise Stefanik releasing a statement about today's incident. She says she wants to express gratitude to state and local law enforcement and their quick response and determination to keep the community safe.